I got a good marriage. I know I do. I really do. Because a couple months ago, we put a piece of furniture together from Ikea, and we didn't get divorced. Thank you very much. <laughs> that is no easy task. It could be a reality show. That's how hard it is. You just have an announcer come on. We took three happily married couples, <laughs> gave them each one desk and one set of bunk beds from Ikea. Let's sit back and watch the tragedy unfold. <laughs> Tune in week three when she calls him a dumb drunk like his Irish mother. <laughs> oh. We get nasty, man. And you try so hard not to fight. We literally designate jobs. I'm like, you work directions. That's all you do. You read the directions, and I'll put everything together. All right, so if I don't understand your directions, I won't rip them out of your hand. And if I can't get this screw in, don't lean over and huff and puff. <laughs> That's what she does, she'll just lean over. <sighs> well, oh, is it time for the expert screwdriver screw up? <laughs> and you try so hard not to fight, but we get like 10 minutes in and we make our first mistake. I'm trying to be so cool about it. I'm like, baby, you gave me the wrong joint. Now, now I gotta unscrew this and put the other one on. You're giving me more work. I really need you to focus, man. And she's like, well, it's really hard. Well, try hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not fight. We got to stick together. Can't fight. That's what Ikea wants, man. <laughs> I do. I feel like the guy who makes the directions is so miserable. He's like, even though they need three screws, I'm going to give them four just to make them feel as miserable as me. <laughs> but you can't not fight. Like, we'll get like 25 minutes in, 30 minutes in, and I just lose it. Guys, know you ever just feel yourself losing it? I'll just start talking louder and faster. You know, I'm like, come on, you gotta hold the board. Hold the board, hold the board, hold the board! <laughs> She's like, my arm's tied. I'm like, you wanted the desk! <laughs> it's like Ikea's slogan should be Ikea. Hope your marriage is stronger than our furniture. <laughs> <sighs> I don't understand couples that say they don't fight. That's insanity. It really is. I try to bite my tongue, but I can't help it. Like, all right, recently we were putting together a DVD player, and like, I'm not very electronically inclined. Like, my only job was to stare at the screen and let her know when there's a picture. <laughs> and meanwhile, she's hunched behind all the furniture. And like, she keeps going, anything now? And I'm like, no, not yet. How about now, anything now? And I'm like, no, not yet. How about now, anything now? And I'm like, you know what? You don't have to keep asking me. I'll definitely tell you as soon as I see something. <laughs> what do you think, I'm just gonna stand there? Like, ooh, I wish she'd ask. I'm looking right here. <laughs> She's like, anything now? Yes, yes, God! Just waiting. Cannot fight. I was having a beer with a buddy recently. My cell phone rings. My wife, she goes, uh, yeah, did you eat all the cold cuts? I'm like, yeah, I guess so, you yeah. know. She's like, thanks a lot. I didn't get one ration. Ration? Who uses the word ration? What are we, shipwrecked? I'm like, oh, sorry, Captain. Just tow the line. I'll get some more on the way home. But he's like, what was that about? I'm like, you don't even want to know, man. I love to drink. We're, we live in Wisconsin. You guys totally get me on that. I've been training for drinking my whole life. Woo! Not... Man, it's so interesting when I think about people wanting to have kids because I don't know where I sit on that. Some days I wake up and I'm like, I'd love to have a kid. And some days I look at other people's kids and I'm like, nope. <laughs> I don't want to do that. And I feel like a lot of people procreate for narcissistic reasons these days. Me and my fiance had this one couple that we loved to do everything with. We would go out with them, we'd go on trips with them. And then they got married and we got really nervous that we were going to lose our party buddies. And they were like, no, it's OK. I promise you, we're going to be the cool parents. We're going to not have kids for like four more years. And two months later, bam, they're pregnant. And I have lunch with this girl one day, and I'm like, why did you get pregnant so fast? And she's like, we were just really anxious to see what we could create. <laughs> oh, so you made a person? <laughs> Good for you. 
Want to see what you can create? Go to Ikea, get a table, put that together. <laughs> if you can assemble an Ikea table without fighting, that should be your prerequisite for procreation. <laughs> Pretty sure Ikea has all of our answers. I don't know if I should ever have kids. Has anyone ever pinched a baby because I didn't want to hold it anymore? <laughs> Just me. <laughs> I've, I've basically pinched every kid I've ever held. <laughs> it's an amazing feeling to be done, and then it just cries, and you give it back. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It works. It works every time. I've been pinching babies since 99. <laughs> I started drinking in 1999 at age 14. And that's because of Wisconsin, because we train our kids right. <laughs> and that's why I'm so good at drinking now and why I'm so responsible, because I've had 20 years of experience. <laughs> that's the longest amount of experience I've had in anything. <laughs> at all. It's double the amount of experience I've had in comedy. Like, I'm crushing it on the drinking side of my life. I feel really proud of that. but. When you're in your 30s, your doctors are less amused by your ability to throw back. <laughs> so I'm at my doctor's, and she's giving me one of these forms for the first time. Have you guys ever gotten those forms, those forms that judge you about how much you've drank in a week? <laughs> you only start getting them in your 30s. But this particular form only had three options. It had three boxes to check. It said drinks per week, one to three, four to seven, eight to 10. I'm like, I'm sorry, who does this apply to? <laughs> 10 is the max? Is your week on a Tuesday? <laughs> and so I drew in a, a fourth box, and I wrote 16 to 26. But in parentheses, I wrote depending on the week. And my doctor did not find that funny at all. 